General Hospital delivers emotional drama as Lucky Spencer and Aiden Weber reunite after years apart. Their awkward encounter leaves Lucky feeling guilty, but Elizabeth Baldwin steps in to smooth things over. Meanwhile, sparks fly between Trina Robinson and Gio Palmieri as their clashing opinions may evolve into unexpected romance. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital, Aiden and Lucky's awkward reunion, Liz steps up to help father and son. General Hospital spoilers reveal that a new sneak peek video offers a glimpse at a highly anticipated reunion. It's been quite some time since Lucky Spencer, Jonathan Jackson, has been a real part of Aiden Weber's, Colin Cassidy, life, but that's something they'd both like to change. It won't be easy after so many years apart without much contact, but Aiden and Lucky have to start somewhere. In the October 7th episode, Lucky will get off the General Hospital elevator and realize Aiden is standing right in front of him. After Lucky calls Aiden's name and gets him to turn around, there'll be some awkwardness as he apologizes for not being in touch. Aiden will acknowledge that Lucky's been busy, but Lucky will admit that's no excuse. Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, will notice the uncomfortable encounter happening nearby and come to the rescue. After Liz gently points out that the hospital hub isn't the right place for a reunion, she'll steer the father-son duo to a break room instead. As Elizabeth leads them off for some privacy, Aiden looks excited and hopeful in the sneak peek clip. Lucky, on the other hand, looks downright terrified that he's going to screw this up and scar Aiden for life. It's clear that Lucky is feeling pretty out of his element now that he's back and trying to do the whole dad thing. This isn't something Lucky's used to, but he'll do his best to reconnect with Aiden and convey how sorry he is. Aiden has mixed feelings about his father since he pretty much always has to be the one to reach out to Lucky. It's left Aiden feeling like an afterthought and has made it difficult for them to build an actual relationship. That's why Lucky will deliver a formal apology and confess that he's been running away from his parental responsibilities for far too long. Lucky told Liz that he wouldn't make any promises he couldn't keep, so he probably won't vow to stick around unless he absolutely means it. However, Lucky may assure Aiden that he wants to make an effort and that he'd like to try being a real dad to him if Aiden will allow it. Despite Aiden's problems with Lucky, he's craving his father's attention deep down. Aiden may be a self-proclaimed mama's boy, but he should be open to letting Lucky in the picture and consider this good news. General Hospital spoilers say Lucky and Aiden will have some struggles to navigate, but our predictions hint that Liz will guide them and hope for some positive relationship updates. Today's next update, Heather gets unexpected help when Alexis joins her legal team. General Hospital spoilers tease that Heather Weber, Ali Mills, has been on quite the roller coaster these past few months. As the year started, Heather was still the dangerous psychopath she's been these last several years. She even tried to murder Cyrus Renault, Jeff Cober, inside the chapel at General Hospital but was stopped by Laura Collins, Jeannie Francis. But Heather soon learned that she suffered from cobalt poisoning as a result of a leaky hip replacement. General Hospital spoilers, Laura Collins became Heather Weber's champion. Heather had the faulty hip replaced and her behavior changed almost immediately. Laura began wonder if the cobalt in Heather's system was the cause of some of her more murderous impulses. She began to look into Heather's case, but at first Heather asked her not to pursue the matter, believing that she deserved to be in prison. Scott Baldwin, Ken Schreiner, eventually convinced Heather to pursue the matter because Heather could possibly go free and sue the manufacturer of the faulty hip. General Hospital spoilers, Rick Lansing, take over. When Scott disappeared from Port Charles, Rick Lansing, Rick Hurst, took over Heather's case. Meanwhile, Alexis Davis, Nancy Legron, has been incarcerated at Pennonville and has become Heather's cellmate. Heather agreed to look out for Alexis while she's in prison, which should go a long way toward keeping Alexis safe until she's exonerated of murdering FBI agent John Cates, Adam Harrington. Alexis will certainly go free sooner rather than later. General Hospital Spoilers, Alexis Davis joins Heather Weber's legal team. While they are together in Pennonville, Alix will likely realize that Heather is indeed a different person now that the cobalt isn't poisoning her system. That could lead her to join Rick as part of Heather's legal team. If anyone could get Heather out of prison it would be Alexis. 
She may even be able to prove that Portia Robinson, Brooke Kerr, altered Heather's test results in order to keep Heather in jail. What do you think? Will Heather be able to help Alexis navigate her time in prison? When will Alexis be cleared of Kate's murder? Is Alexis the best shot Heather has to go free? Today's next update, will Trina and Joe's tension evolve into something more serious than clashing opinions? General Hospital spoilers reveal Trina Robinson, Tabiana Ali, and Giovanni Gio Palmieri, Giovanni Maza, are about to butt heads again. Will their disagreement leave them too far on the outs in a space they can't bounce back from? Rumor has it this feud may actually bring them closer together in the end, which is just what the fans have been hoping for ever since Gio and his dimples splashed onto the Port Charles scene. Trina has been struggling to move on since Spencer Cassidine's, Nicholas Alexander Chavez's death, but it's safe to say she's trying, and that she's open to finding love again when it strikes. It's just not likely that she's thinking it's going to come from Gio in any way, shape, or form. That will seem even less likely after this dispute. General Hospital spoilers, Gio doesn't approve. From Trina's perspective, Gio has only been in Port Chuck for a hot minute. She hardly thinks he has the room to make crass judgments about her friends, but it appears Gio is taking it all in and has formed an opinion about Ava Jerome, Mora West, that is going to leave a bad taste in Trina's mouth. Gio, on the other hand, has apparently heard enough. While Ava was kind to him and paid him to play his beautiful music in her gallery, he's always quick to defend Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, and that's always going to pit him against Trina and Jocelyn, Joss Jacks, Eden McCoy, in some ways. Nevertheless, Trina probably won't be able to convince Gio that Ava is worthy of his reconsideration. General hospital spoilers suggest Trina feels quite different about it. Trina has been quick to defend Ava in many circumstances. She's grown a certain affection for her over the years. Just as Ava gave Gio a short-term leg up by putting his violinist skills on display for the elite of Port Chuck, she gave Trina a big break into the art world that the young assistant will forever be grateful for. Trina is still exploring where life is going to take her next, starting with finishing college at PCU. After that, who knows? But for now, she's by Ava's side day in and day out. While she's not hesitant to call her out or hold Ava's feet to the fire when it's required, she's also bent on everyone knowing Ava isn't only made of the bad things they've heard. General hospital spoilers, who are you trying to convince? Trina might go to bat for Ava when it comes to baseless claims from people like Gio who don't know the gallerista well at all. But it is becoming quite transparent that Trina isn't just trying to convince everyone else that there is more to Ava than meets the eye, or the rumor. She may be hard at work trying to convince herself that Ava is better than she really is. Trina needs to continue to believe this woman who has been a friend to her has never had ulterior motives or agendas that serve herself. Will Gio be the one person who can put Trina in check and make her see her devotion to clearing Ava's name has more to do with how she feels than who Ava is? Will she come to respect Gio for helping her see the light, or will this push them further apart? Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.